we have explained to you matters to do with agriculture and what we need to do with agriculture so that agriculture can lift our economy. And when we say agriculture, we mean from productivity. We have agreed that with appropriate intervention, we can increase our productivity without necessarily increasing the acreage of the land we are using under our agricultural activities. We have agreed with you on how agriculture is going to be used to stimulate and to spur our agro-processing, value addition, all the way to manufacturing and job creation. You now appreciate why UHC can become a reality in the shortest time possible and the necessary interventions we have to do when it comes to reforming the National Health Insurance Fund and making sure that it works for everybody and leaves no Kenyan behind. You have heard here that every year one million Kenyans run the risk of being destitute because of illness. And that is why it is necessary for us to urgently reform the NHIF and roll out our universal health coverage plan which we sold to the people of Kenya and that is why they elected us. We have also agreed on what we need to do with our housing plan. You now understand better why this housing plan is not just about building houses. It's a whole concept of transforming communities and transforming our nation. Getting the people in slums to live in decent uh, uh, habitat. Making sure that we create more homeowners than rent payers. We also ensure that through the housing plan, we also make millions of our young people to have jobs. We have desegregated the housing plan so that it also begins to create industry. <laughs> Amazed now, by the country. We are spending around 5,500 shillings per pack. Why? It's because we don't have enough. As a country, we produce around 30,000, 30 million. Increasing, graduating it to 1,700. We moved from they can negotiate a better price for what they are buying and they can negotiate a better price for what they are selling. Why do we produce enough to serve the local needs? Because we spend around 150 million so that they have to earn income. So, our focus here is productivity, I think, productivity growth. When you look at the able to make a house where the farmers are able to access all other. We believe we now have a solid opportunity to get it right. For them to plan to other people from Bolivia and other countries. So, we need to put our eyes on governance or societies. Or was in issue going to be able to supply this standard job? Yes. Lamu County is able to do this standard job. Now, the other things like we talk about NHI and others, it is very easy to also help farmers. Every farmer ministry or another entity that will regulate. So the pro He says they should take a week. Maybe if we could answer that one before to go through them as a. Uh, Yes, so go to the pension area where you buy annuity and enjoy your amount to the very end. Also key to note within that period, the in place to ensure that we get out from this inadequacy of contribution. It's an actuary, a trailblazer in a investment and fund. We will request you to help us with a bit of regulations so that... Uh, ...to sell power. 
and we make them mobility pipe to cost of production being low so that we are mobility and property. So we have opportunities, we have agency, we are doing them, can you see? For us to be able to see manipulation. So as leaders, we are present upon you with relevance to structure this law. Thank you very much. I think basically what uh, Agustin, 300, almost 30 billion. You know, when we talk about value addition, people think about very complicated things. Uh, a tea farmer on half an acre somehow can get his product to London. We not only give them power of the market, 